Why did you choose to work on robotics? So actually, here is a reveal. I was actually working for several years on robotics. And as of recently, we changed the focus at OpenAI. And I'm actually, I disbanded the robotics team. Oh, I'm wow. Actually, yeah. Why, why did you do that? So, okay. So the reasoning is that there's like a few pieces. So it turns out that we can make a gigantic progress whenever we have access to data. And like a, all our machinery and supervised learning, reinforcement learning, they work extremely well. And there is actually plenty of domains that are very, very rich with data. Mm. And uh, ultimately that was holding us back in case of robotics. And I mean, this decision was quite hard for me. I, I, I got the realization some time ago that actually that's the best from perspective of the company. And the you know, sad thing is, I think if it would be a robotics company or if the mission of the company would be different, then I think we would uh, just continue. I actually quite strongly believe in the approach that robotics took and the direction. But from perspective of what we want to achieve, which is to build AGI, I think there was actually some components missing. So when we created robotics, we thought that we can go uh, very far with self-generated data and the reinforcement learning. At the moment, I believe that actually pre-training allows to give model 100x cheaper IQ points. And then, you know, that might be followed with other techniques. And what is pre-training? Pre-training, that's, I can explain it in case of GPT-3. So pre-training in case of GPT-3 or in case of like a language models means training them on some unsupervised task, such as next word prediction. And that builds in all the internal representation that allows model to off the bat to solve many tasks. And in case of robotics, we, we haven't had such a data. Mm. I see. So do you regret working on robotics? No, I, ca I think that actually we've got plenty of insights for other projects. I think that also we built a really amazing technology. I, I would say I'm actually very proud. There was like, a, of course, moments of sadness when I was making this decision, but I'm quite happy where, where, where we've got. Also, I would say even from my own perspective, in the meanwhile, I managed also other teams that made some significant progress in the meanwhile. And uh, the, 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 the more information, that there will be more information about it sometime. Thanks for watching this clip. You can see the full episode on our YouTube channel. And you can join our friendly Slack community with over 4,000 ML engineers to participate in paper reading groups, AMAs, and other fun events.